So you have a GPS? Remember your day, you never had a GPS. You had, you know, you had the triptychs of Automobile Club of America, remember? <laughs> That's what you did it. Because oh, once you want to open the big maps, you can never get the map back folded ever again, am I correct? <laughs> but they have, now they have a global positioning system. They created an electronic device with a woman's voice telling a man how to drive. <laughs> it's diabolical. Make a left, make a right. Go two thirds of a mile and make another left. I said make a left. Why aren't you listening to me? My mother's right, you're a loser, let me out of this car. You can program it for Japanese. But they do know, you know, yeah, yeah, loser. This is an amazing device, right? You didn't have a GPS in your day. Well, it tells you exactly what's up ahead. It tells you the future. It's like a pocket Nostradamus. You kids, you kids, you kids. Wouldn't you like to have that when you graduate college? You have a, you have a GPS in your forehead. You know what's right ahead? Three quarters of a mile is opportunity. No, nope, it's General Motors. Recalculate, recalculate, recalculate. Oh look, the woman of your dream. No, nope, it's the Optimum. Recalculate, recalculate. At all? Uh, people from New York and Florida. Unbelievable. Uh, I love the seasons in New York, standing in Central Park, watching the homeless change colors. Uh, when they turn blue, fall to the ground. Tears come to my eyes. Some people go, that's not nice. Don't make fun of the homeless people. You shouldn't make fun of the homeless people in Manhattan. Don't you worry about the people in Manhattan, the homeless people. They have cell phones. <laughs> homeless people in New York have cell phones. I'm giving money to a homeless guy. His cell phone goes off. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, I can't talk now with a client. <laughs> yeah, can you call me back at the next street? Yeah, I'll be at the refrigerator car in about five minutes. Uh, so I do cruise ships. Anyone go on cruise ships? Oh, what a surprise. People in Florida going on cruise ships. People in Florida never get a chance to go on a cruise I love watching you people on cruise ships eat eight, nine times your body weight. You're not even that hungry. You're, you're like going to your own execution. And the more money you lose at the casino, the more you put on your plate. So you're thinking, we paid for it. That's why we eat. We eat as much as we possibly can because we paid for it. And it never fails, no matter where I go on a cruise, there's always some couple from Boca that finds me after the show and wants to set me up with the daughter, and the man, his name is always Saul. Saul always Saul. Saul comes up and he goes, you were hysterical. We saw your show, you were hysterical, you're very funny. You have to go out with our daughter, please. You're young, you're thin, you have a great head of hair, would you go out with her? Thank you, but I don't go on blind dates. Please, you have to. I look at the mother, the mother goes, yes, you have to go out with her. I beg you, there's no nice guys in Boga anymore. There's too much going on with them. They show me a picture of the daughter. She's gorgeous. She's a 12. I call her on the phone. The daughter goes, I heard so much about you. I can't wait to go out with you. But let me tell you, it's like I'm going, what is this, Ernest Borgnon? Is she's chugging down razor blades? Well, let me tell you something, mister. If we're going to go out tonight, I want to go somewhere really expensive. So I took it to a gas station. <laughs> I love driving in South Florida where a red light is just a suggestion. <laughs> I've never seen more people in a rush going nowhere. I'm going 80 miles an hour on the turnpike, the guy's past me going 115, getting off at Sample. <laughs> what could be so important at Sample? Oh, I gotta go to the flea market and buy some crap I don't need. Ooh, maybe Rooms to Go is having the final end of the year sale that they'll never ever have again until two weeks later until they have another sale at Rooms to Go. No money down, no interest, no finance charges till 2025. Is that fair to the seniors? <laughs> buy the furniture now, pass the debt on to your children. Everything is the same down there. Every block is the same. It's like CVS, Walgreens, with Dixie, Publix, CVS, Walgreens, Walgreens, B of A, Target, B of A, CVS. It's like someone picks up the scenery and moves it up the side of the road. <laughs> Only part of the country, if you're driving and you miss a Walgreens, who cares? There's another one 18 yards ahead. <laughs> Florida law. If there's more than five seniors congregating for more than four minutes, they will build a Walgreens on top of their <laughs> communities. 
I do. They told me I'm playing Addison Reserve. <laughs> reserve? Thinking, what's a reserve? Doctari, Africa? That's right, you're gonna be at Addison Reserve. You're gonna see seniors grazing in the natural habitat. <laughs> if any of them come up to you asking for food, don't give up. You'll never get rid of them. <laughs>